158, 160. Wow, did they really go this fast? The Volvo S60. You can now drive this awesome Swedish beast in BeamNG thanks to a new mod by Spicy. It's just been released on the BeamNG forums. So I'll leave a link to it in the description down below so you can check out these amazing Swedish sedans. So we have the sedan on the right, which is called the S60. And on the left, this mod also includes the V60, the wagon variant. And I've got to say, I do prefer the look of the wagon. There's so many different engine options. This is the D. Four, I believe was just a sort of a standard diesel and then the T5 and I believe a lot of these Volvos use straight five engines so we'll be checking those out as well as the Polestar and the cross-country variants which is like a slightly off-road version but this is really really cool okay so we are going to start with the S60 now on the interior as you can see it's really beautiful we've got this uh, floating dash design that Volvo used to have and a really really cool looking infotainment system you can see the time there the sat nav and stuff has been like adapted so we've got the radio and the climate control buttons or you know display at the bottom there so they've integrated the in-game map with that quite well and then if you press O on your keyboard you can see on the right there the trip computer is changing so we've got current speed instantaneous MPG 180 miles to empty tank well we haven't even driven anywhere yet but let's leave it on current speed and see what happens okay we're in drive in the Volvo S60 T5 now this Oh, goodness, this traction control is really aggressive. When you turn even slightly, look, that's throttle, throttle at full, foot hard down. Look at how aggressive it is. So what you need to do, control and Q and go into sport mode. Ready? Oh, listen to it. Much more aggressive sounding. That is definitely a straight five, isn't it? Oh, really great sounding engine. And it's pretty fast as well. Let's put those lights on so we can see the dashboard more clearly. Yeah, look. Whoa! I was looking at the dashboard. Oh, dear. Our first crash in the Volvo. So, yeah, Volvo's are, are like, well known for their uh, crash safety. So, let's have a look how this car performs in a front-on crash test. Wow, even now the traction control is really cutting in. That's interesting. We've got a brake light up there. Does that, that illuminate? Oh, look at those brake lights. The bloom in the game has been changed slightly, so it's much more aggressive. And that means that, uh, you know, the graphics have been improved, if you like Bloom. Here we go. Ooh, the engine actually fell out there. But yeah, pretty solid car. The interior looks pretty okay. And yeah, let's try the Volvo V60, the wagon. Oh yeah. So the space in the back. Can we open the boot? Oh, I wish we could. Um, let's look at the space in the back. Oh, not much, actually. That's strange. I thought there'd be more space in the back. But anyway, let's go. This is a manual, but it is just a diesel. Oh my goodness, put in sport mode. So spicy, if you are watching, please can you make the oh, the traction control a little less aggr aggressive in comfort mode? I think it's a bit, aggr I don't know if it is like that in real life in a Volvo. I've never actually driven one of these. I am a uh, Saab fan through and through, to be fair. Whoa, spicy I said, I think they're gonna update this mod in the future. Um, it's a really awesome looking model. I think it's from... Is it from Forza? I'm not, I'm not actually sure because there is a fo um, in Forza there are the V60 Polestar and the S60 Polestar. But yeah, driving around town this thing's great. It's got quite a soft suspension in these trim levels. But if we now upgrade to a sport variant, um, you have in fact got adaptive suspension that will um, like become firmer as you drive. Now where on earth would a sport variant be? Um, was I in a sport variant before? No, I don't know. Wagon model, special edition. That's got to be a sport v variant, surely. Let's try it. Oh, look at this thing. Listen to the engine. Uh, stop! Run it down the hill. Sport mode. Go. Yes. So, oh, it does look firmer. That does look firmer than it was. Whoa. All-wheel drive in this. We've got blue dials. That's awesome. Look at it go. Bouncy, bouncy. So, yeah, Volvo have since um, revised the V6. There's a whole new generation of V60s after this. Um, Polestar do still exist. We're going to check out their tuned ooh, variant very soon. And they only make electric cars now, I believe. So 
long gone are the years when Volvo used to make these Polestars, like the C30, which just were just crazy fast cars. Oh my goodness. Crash test. Slow motion. Bang. Ooh. You see, even at that speed, a Volvo would definitely crumble. Um, but, you know, that's a pretty good crash model. I'm actually really impressed because it is a, you know, just a, a mesh from another game, not built from the ground up. So let's have a look at the Polestar. I think we've got to move on to it. So we've got the S60 Polestar, the V60 Polestar. Then we've got another version, which is like the facelifted one. And then this one-off Polestar performance concept, which has over 400 horsepower. So let's go for the normal Polestar, the facelifted one. So this is going to be really, really quick. As you can see, it does look great. Look at the lights at the front. And here's the famous blue Polestar badge that they put on all the cars. Don't know if they put them on the cars anymore. Um, I think Polestar are really a mark in their own right now. Right, so we've got a sport mode and a Polestar mode. I think we've got to use the Polestar mode. Oh, that exhaust. The exhaust changes as you change the, um, the drive mode. So that's, that's comfort. That's sport. And then Polestar's even louder. Okay, let's do it. Where are we going to drive? I have no idea. Go! So quite a bit of turbo lag, and then it goes. Oh! That is Polestar performance right there. Brakes. We've got red brake calipers, so they're going to be good brakes on here. Oh, it's very firm suspension. Bit of understeer, but we're okay. Is this car supercharged? That sounds like a suit. Like it might be a... Um, I think it's... Is it called Twin Charger? This system where they have a supercharger and a turbocharger. I don't know enough about the uh, Polestar. Wow. That's awesome. Come it off. Whoa! What kind of brakes has this thing got? Is they, are they Brembo? Let's have a look. They are... Uh, oh, I can't read that. Rotor pad? Oh, no. I don't think that's a real brand. So quick. Let's go on the motorway with this thing. And I think we've got to take it on the track at some point. But maybe we'll take the 400 horsepower version on the track. Here we go. Good brakes, to be fair. Whoa. Brake. Ooh. Yeah, I do love Volvos of this generation. I think they've lost their way a bit recently. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the designs. But I do like, you know, they're incorporating hybrid into most of their vehicles. Like I said, I'm, I'm quite biased. I'm not a Volvo fan especially. Well, as I was growing up, we had a, a C30 and a V50. Um, the V50 was like an estate car, a bit like this. But it had a very little room in the back. It was really small. Wow, look at this thing. What's the top speed? 158? 160? Oh my... Wow. Did they really go this fast? Yeah, I'm a little bit biased because I'm a Saab fan, you know, Volvo versus Saab, they're both Swedish, both make similar cars. Well, Saab, I guess, lost in the end, but... Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Impact detected. And yeah, that was a big, big impact. So, let's go to the racetrack and try the 400 horsepower variant of the Polestar. Here it is. It's a one-off Polestar performance concept sedan. Preview previewing the production model, equipped with an upgraded turbo, bigger brakes and race parts, makes over 400 horsepower. This is going to be epic, and I think it'll be good around this track. So, uh, cycle game information, yeah, we don't see that. Okay, pole start, here we go. Oh, it, it, ooh, it has a manual gearbox. Holy. That's craziness. It revs a bit higher, I think. That might, might just be because of the uh, manual, though. Whoa, brake, brake, brake. Oh, it actually feels a bit more grippy. You see these buttons on the steering wheel and stuff? Wouldn't it be cool if you could press those? Because there is a cruise control function in the, uh, in the game that we, you know, we should be able to activate them from the steering wheel. I don't think DMNG made it very easy for mod creators to do, like, touchable buttons in the cars yet. So I heard. Someone can maybe correct me there, but uh, in the future, I'm pretty sure they will make it easier for the mod creators to implement that. Whoa. The turbo lag is a bit... The other one has a supercharger, clearly. Um, and superchargers have much less turbo lag, but what, I don't know what the downside of a, of a supercharger is. 
Did it get much hotter or something? Or do they require quite a powerful engine, whereas turbochargers can be fitted to anything as, you know, tiny as like 600cc micro car? Wow. I'm loving this Volvo. And it's great to see a high quality Volvo in BMNG. Somebody please give me a sub. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop going on about that now. I probably won't. I'll probably just go on about it for the rest of the video. But anyway, let's have a look at another version. That's really, really cool. The Polestar is what I, I guess will be, you know, remembered most about the S60 in the future. Um, okay, what can we look at? Let's have a look at the T2 and the D2. These are the real base models. So the T2, now it has a straight four, but Volvo did make a three cylinder in their big sedans, which would be crazy, you know, think of that. Oh, wow. <laughs> That was full throttle all that time. Got wood though. Volvo, you know, give us some wood in the base model. Ooh. Look at the ISO fix points down there, or whatever they're called. The uh, You can see the red seatbelt things. That's what they are. Beige. Volvo seem to make a lot of their cars beige. Or, you know, the people that bought them. Which maybe says a bit more about the people that buy Volvos. Mm, I don't know. Um, okay, it's a... It's a small engined or low power sedan. And the D2. Oh, listen to that. Sounds like a moped. Um, hang on. Sport mode. Come on. Be fair. Yeah, it's just more powerful. I think diesels suit these kind of cars much more. Doesn't make sense to buy diesel anymore though, you know, petrols are pretty economical these days. But back then, in like the mid-2010s, whoa, well, it handles pretty well, doesn't it? The uh, diesels would just been way better choice, even though it says D2, which is like a really small, uh, low-ranking engine for this car. So, I want to have a look at these, just really have a look at the Ocean Race, which is a, it says facelift. A facelifted limited edition wagon model comes with all the bells and whistles and a turbocharged 2.5 litre straight five engine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So all the bells and whistles, what does that mean? Um, ooh, is that like a sunroof? I think it is. That's pretty cool. Oh, we've got memory seat functions, which unfortunately we can't interact with. Here we go. So this has got this has got the five cylinder. What kind of modes have we got? Sport, go. Just sounds great, doesn't it? I'll never tire of hearing straight fives. It's such a shame that there aren't many straight fives around anymore. But petrol, diesel, it's had it. Internal combustion engines have just had it. Okay, pretty cool. The last one I want to have a look at is the cross-country. So back in the day, a lot of manufacturers made these cross-country versions of their cars. What does that really mean, though? Well, there's, a, there's actually a saloon one. I thought they only made the V60, but we're going to try the V60 um, cross-country. So it's facelift T5 wagon model. Uh, it doesn't say what it is, but basically it's slightly off-road, so you could take it on a slightly like dirt path. You can see it's got a slightly higher ride height, these kind of um, reinforced sills down the side, big chunky wheels. Okay, we've got to go and look for somewhere to off-road this thing. Uh, there isn't much off-road on this map, is there? Ooh, perfect. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go, this is perfect. Wow, the car is the same colour as the dirt. Again, not a fan of this kind of colour of a car, but there you go. We have a cross-country mode. What does that do? Let's find out. So yeah, a Volvo made a cross-country, Audi made cross-country ones. There was even a um, VW Polo and a VW Golf Plus cross-country kind of thing. They had different names, and they could, some called them like All Track and stuff like that, I think. Um, but you just don't see this again anymore. Not very often. Wow. We're drifting. So it allows the wheels to slip just a bit so we can get as much um, movement on dirt as possible. That's good. Handbrake. Very effective handbrake. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, is there somewhere to off-road it? We're gonna probably going to have to take it over here. Yes. This looks good. This looks perfect for the cross-country. Oh dear. Okay, there we go. Come on, Volvo. You can do it. Yay. Oh, my goodness. Have I looked at everything? I think I have. Oh, damn it. 
The cross country worked pretty well off road, and we just did like a billion different rolls. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty good representation of the Volvo S60 and V60. Unfortunately, I still think I do prefer Saabs. I do drive a Saab in real life, but you know, I do love Volvos. I love everything Swedish. And um, yeah, go and check this mod out from the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see some more BMNG, why not click the video on screen right now? It's where I drive an MG. So somebody actually brought an MG, one of the new MGs to the game. And I think you'll enjoy that video a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.